Museums are places where cultural heritage is preserved, studied and enjoyed. The museum is a treasure chest of antiquities and ancient artifacts that reflects a country's civilization, history, people and architectural achievements. Museums are reflections of the past and excellent centers of alternate learning. National Museum New Delhi, located at the heart of the capital, is the premier museum of India, housing over 2 lakh artifacts representing 5,000 years of Indian art, history and craftsmanship. The collection in the museum can take you on a fascinating and spectacular journey of the past at the same time reflecting on the present. Established in 1949 at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the present-day President's House at the behest of First Governor General of India, Sri R. C. Rajagopalachari for six years, National Museum showcased the rich cultural heritage of our country from Rashtrapati Bhavan premises. The foundation stone of the present-day building was laid by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on May 12, 1955 and was formally inaugurated on 18 December 1960 and opened for the general public. National Museum is visited by a large number of people every day. Why do so many people visit National Museum? This is because the museum is a cultural hub with historical anecdotes and beautiful artworks that can enthrall one and all. It is a storehouse of knowledge and resources that visitors can immerse themselves in. This institution encourages learning and fun. The objective art objects of historical, cultural and artistic significance for the purpose of protection, preservation and interpretation. The museum's main responsibility is to ensure that this deep knowledge which is embedded in our collections of objects must be shared and disseminated with the public. The museum has a visitor-centric approach in all its activities, be it exhibitions, gallery displays, programs or educational projects. National Museum actively allows its visitors to understand and participate in heritage, history and culture-oriented experiences of the past. The museum galleries are spread across three levels, starting from the Indus Civilization or the Harappan Gallery, followed by sprawling galleries displaying stone sculptures, miniature paintings, decorative arts, jewelry, traditional Indian paintings, ethnographic collections, coins, textiles, musical instruments and international collections from ancient Central Asia and Central America are all part of the National Museum experience. At the main entrance of the museum stands the tall impressive masterpiece, the Temple Chariot. It is an 18th century octagonal chariot dedicated to Lord Vishnu from Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. The museum is most visited for the collection displayed in the Harappan Gallery that represents the ancient roots of Indian civilization, a range of archaeological pottery, seals, tablets, bead and gold jewelry, toys and copper tools all reconstruct the fascinating story of the Indus civilization which is known to be contemporary to Egypt, Mesopotamia and China. The most significant attraction of this gallery is the Dancing Girl sculpture discovered from Mohanjadaro. The priest temple architecture discovered from various temple sites are exquisite stone sculptures carved in sandstone, schist, granite and marble that can be seen in the sculpture galleries of National Museum. These masterpieces represent the high craftsmanship of Indian sculptures that continues till date. India on Buddhist art will take you on a spiritual journey, sacred relics of Buddha, unearthed from Piprahva and other specimens of Buddhist art exhibited in stone, bronze, 
terracotta and wood. This illustrates how Buddhism manifested in various forms of art heritage all over the world. The museum is home to one of the largest collections of miniature paintings in Asia. The Miniature Paintings Gallery is a well-curated gallery showing miniatures of all schools of Indian painting, Bahari, Rajasthani, Central Indian, Mughal and Deccani. Indian miniatures are well known for their magical rendering of reality and imagination. Reopened in 2015, the Bronze Gallery of National Museum has been contemporarily designed drawing attention to the artifacts on display. The gallery also explains how bronze casting was done in ancient times. Another exquisite collection of objects can be seen in the newly designed decorative arts gallery on the ground floor. Among the main highlights, here is the beautiful ivory tusk carved intricately with the life scenes of Buddha. The gallery exhibits intricately carved and decorative objects that is difficult to move one's eye from. The decorative arts gallery has several examples of superior craftsmanship that India is home to. The finest collections of Indian jewelry in the world, representing each region of India and all kinds of precious jewels that can be worn from head to toe. The jewellery gallery is visited by a large number of people after it opened in November 2014. Every is the first stop and it showcases a remarkable collection. The gallery starts from the cowries and ends at the modern day currency that is credit cards. It exhibits the history of Indian coinage 6th century BC onwards till date. Einstein collection the gallery has outstanding wall paintings, sculptures, printed silk banners, coins, porcelain pottery objects, leather, precious stones and opened in 2013 is one of the new initiatives of National Museum. It is a gallery based on local South Indian style of painting, a tradition derived from domestic practices. Tanjore and Mysore paintings, rich and beautiful as they are, are actually from home shrines of the Vaishnava and Shaivai devotees from the temple town of Tanjore in present-day Tamil Nadu and Mysore in Karnataka. The textile gallery is one of the most beautiful segments on the second floor. It exhibits a fabulous collection of Indian, woven, printed, dyed and embroidered textiles. Prince of India's traditional wood carving is another fabulous collection displayed in wood carving gallery. Different styles of carving in wood mainly from the 18th to 19th century catch the attention of visitors. The 16th 17th century AD integrately carved mandapa of a Gujarat temple is the main highlight. Wood carving This is a place for music lovers. The gallery contains various important music instruments from tribal, folk and classical music. Displayed instruments have been divided into categories like string, percussion and wind. The sculpture of Goddess Saraswati playing the veena and old musical instruments are the highlight of this gallery. When you objects traditions and practices in the state of Northeast India are displayed in a gallery known as Tribal Lifestyle of Northeast. Traditional costumes, ornaments and paintings give a unique experience to visitors. The Arms and Armor Gallery is particularly popular with children. Different tools from Stone Age up to the Modern Age are displayed here. Or accessories and personal armors of great kings and warriors are the main attraction of this gallery. We have here in the National Museum has broadened its scope with different activities for the visitors at regular intervals. Lectures by scholars, film screenings, musical shows, short plays, workshops and many other programs have been running at the museum for children and adults. 
It has also collaborated with various schools, NGOs and other organizations to provide young audiences with an enriching platform and stimulative learning sessions. To reach every interface between the museum and the public with an objective to provide a qualitative experience for them. They have introduced a series of new programs and tailored activities for both children and adults to engage with audiences at a deeper level. The museum is also very active on Facebook, Twitter and shares information or updates with its visitors through its website. The conservation department of the museum is solely responsible for conserving and preserving objects from all departments of the museum. The museum uses modern technology and advanced equipment and also provides its services to other institutions to preserve their cultural heritage in its original forms for children on different themes. An online version of some of the books is also available for visitors to view on the National Museum website. The museum organizes national and international exhibitions around the year and collaborates with institutions world over in order to deliver shows of a superior standard and engage with large number of visitors. A separate exhibition cell has been set up to coordinate these exhibitions with other departments in the museum. The National Museum Library has a vast collection of material on a wide variety of subjects. The collection has more than 60,000 books and journals on history, art and culture which are available to researchers, scholars and students for use. Uh, we get the museum is dedicated to giving each visitor a valuable and enjoyable experience during their visit. Visit the museum today and have a great learning experience and don't forget to pick up a piece of your memory from our shop.